11, uh, JFK, mm. I mean, all kinds of conspiracies. The, the one I had never looked at, and now, you know, I'm 58, so I'm like, okay, let me look at this one, is um, God. And uh, I said, let me see about this God thing. I've never been a religious guy. And uh, so I start reading and I start talking. to people. I also found that around me, like a couple of people I was working with, they're all Christians. And not that anyone was ever pushing anything on me. When I asked them questions, they were gladly answered. And so there's a lot of stuff written about Jesus. (laughs) There's a lot written, you know, thousands of years of books. And Mm. and there's some contemporary stuff such as uh, evidence demands a verdict. And, you know, this just is so much. And I got to tell you, Joe. As sure as I know that Building 7 didn't fall down out of uh, sympathy for Building 1 and 2, God is real, Jesus existed, he was a badass outlaw, and it has changed my outlook on life. It has really changed the way I look at things. And I believe that we can win um, with God. I know that may, may sound a little weird uh, coming from me, but I am, I'm all in on this. And, you know, I'm not a, you know... Like, you know, you may think of someone who believes in God or Jesus as a crazy right wing nut job, which I'm obviously not. But, man, it's powerful stuff when you when you put uh, prayer into your life. It's really powerful. The Holy Spirit. I don't think there's anything weird about it at all. I mean, I think it's there's a reason why it exists, why it's so prevalent in so many cultures. It it helps people. It's about love. Yeah. It's all about love. Yeah. You think uh, Jesus's role was what do you who do you think he was? Well. Well, he was literally the son of God, and he was on the earth to teach, and he, he wandered. I mean, he was an outlaw. He did some crazy shit. He you know, overturned the tax tables, and you know, he really railed well, against a lot you, of stuff. Why do you think, well, based on what information that you have, why do you think that he existed? Uh, well, to, well the, the, Jesus had to die after teaching us how to live a good life and how to be a good person, which is all about love. And that was to absolve us of our sins, which is kind of a cool out. You know, so everyone's a sinner, everyone's fucked up, everyone's flawed, but you are forgiven for that as long as you try to be better. I mean, that's literally every book in the Bible is about, like I was reading this morning, I um, uh, forget what it was, but it's like Jesus said, be quick to listen, slow to answer, and slow to get angry. And I took that here, because I remember last time I was here, um, which was over a year ago, and a lot of people said, dude, you're a fucking asshole. You keep interrupting Joe. And I did. And you even said, oh, calm down, Adam, calm down. You're excited to talk. But yeah, but that's just normal excitedness. It's not, you're not being an asshole. But it's better if I listen. It makes everything better. If you, so it's just small things like that. But ultimately, mm. it's 100% about love and, um, and knowing that it can it it can be beaten this evil in the world can be fought against in fact it's probably already done um and i'm just new to this joe so i can't answer everything mm-hmm. uh, but i love studying it i love reading i'm just it's fascinating material and it there's is fascinating so material. much there it's really I mean, fast a person being the actual son of god i would need a lot of evidence to right. believe that well, evidence demands a verdict would be a great book yeah. to read but just as i know that JFK was assassinated, and I really believe the CIA was involved um, because it's been written. I've I've just mm-hmm. read documents and documents. So when you look into the Bible and everything that's been written about the Bible, that's a hundred million times more has been written about that, and it's survived all these years. So I'm right, just but I'm if just someone, someone who reads. writes about The Shining, yeah. and a bunch of people review the writing of The Shining and mm-hmm. write about The Shining. It doesn't mean that The Shining actually happened. You know, and, just because so many people are writing about this particular religion doesn't mean that there was a person. But they haven't written about it. Doesn't mean sh- they weren't. I'm not saying they mm-hmm. weren't. I'm not saying I know. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying it doesn't mean that that, was, that no. man was the son of I'm God. I'm just telling you, my process is when I investigate things, and it, to me it was a conspiracy theory. Like, I'm just going to start reading. And it, I read for three weeks until I gave up and said, I can keep reading, but all the evidence just is thrown at me over and over and over again. If I'm going to believe certain things about JFK or 9-11 or uh, whatever, which I've read as much as I can, but there's not that much. It's just, it, it, for my own, my own conscience, I have to, if I'm going to believe that after reading, you know, 50 years of documentation versus that, Thousands of years of documentation, but it's thousands of years of documentation of a story. It's interesting that some people would rather not get there 
and rather be in a shitty, depressed yeah. state <laughs> yeah. as long as they're not duped. <laughs> but, but you've been duped by life. Like, of course. Because your life sucks. But, I mean, there's but, a, but I know a but lot of not like, what, atheists that are like, idea, super depressed. The idea is not that God fixes everything. The idea is if you, if you can believe in it and can put yourself in a mindset. Mm. I'm just looking at a little abstract now. Yes. You put yourself in a mindset that things can happen, that, that miracles do happen, that things do uh, impact your life, and that you look at things in a different way. You're not always completely fucked up about this is not happening for me or that's not happening. You know, you. Do you think it's you, like psychological software that you can run? Like oh, your belief in God, do you think that's like psychological software that you could just run and they're like, ooh, look, everything's smoother? No, it's not. No, because it, everything isn't smoother, but you at least don't freak out when shit isn't smooth. Right. I don't mean it in a derogatory way no, or I know. in a negative way. I know. What I mean is like, is that why it's effective? That well, it's like <laughs> a natural thing that you could run and it's been honed over time. It only makes sense that it Well, has yes. Been, well, here right? you go. I love this. So it just sort of slides What is the software? Into... What is the code? It's the Bible. Mm. It, is, it is the gospel, scripture. That is, if you want to look at it that way, it is the code that you run in your brain and it does things for you. Yeah. So that's a way of looking at it. That's a kind of a good way, actually. I hadn't thought of that one. I like that. Yeah. Like, a, like, that. like a psychological software. Sure. But the, the problem is... If he was really good at it and really successful in a t time when people were not very sophisticated, mm -hmm. he, he could probably pull that off. And then when he dies, everybody would say he was the son of God. Sure. And we don't know. No. So mm -hmm. how would you know that this guy who lived 2,000 plus years ago that's why, is actually the son of God? That's why I call myself a believer. Because you just believe. Yeah. I've, well. Yeah. And I've, and, I, and I've seen what it has done for my own life. What does it do for your own life when you believe? Uh... It makes me a very happy person. Um, uh, prayer does work, not if you're asking for stuff for yourself. Uh, but I I've experienced, it's not really just the miracles that I've experienced, but it, it really, it, it makes me happy. Good things have been happening. Uh, so you just find it effective. It works for you. Yeah, of course. And yeah. so you're, you're just saying yeah. this has helped your life. How can you possibly you can prove? Never, you can never get to the end. Of course not. Right. But you, it, you can but never it, prove. You, you can prove mm, that people believed it. Yeah, but how could you prove correct. that someone was actually the son of God? No, I, or are we all? Of course, we were so all then, God. Of course, he was one hundred percent God. So if he was, he was one of us. He was the teacher. Then he though. was the son of God because we're all children. I'm of God, with that. I'm right? with that. Yeah. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe I, it's a puzzle. It, Jesus. That's right. Help, help me, Jesus.